Hi, I'm Jody. Over the next nine weeks, Kingsford and RecTech are going to show you the best tips, tricks, and recipes to help you knock your home gating out of the park. Don't forget, subscribe to watch. What's up, sports fans? It's a little after 12 o'clock on a Monday. You know what time it is. time to get that home gating series crunk back up. It's all about America's favorite sport, baseball, baby, with none other than our barbecue dad. Number one on your hearts, number nine on the field, Jody Flanagan. That's right. What's up, sports fans? This is your home gating central. That's right. We're making you amazing recipes that you guys can make at your home while you're home gating. Baseball season is, is winding down. Uh, we've got the wild card games coming up. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, I think it's uh, the Brewer. I can't remember who's on in there, but we got the Braves, the Reds, the Mariners, Cubs, Cardinals, Padres, the Dodgers for the National League. We got the Sox, A's, Houston. Houston's out there. The Twins, Yankees, uh, Indians, Blue Jays, and it looks like Tampa Bay. Uh, it may be, but we've got a great season. I know it was only. I don't know it was compressed. Uh, we're just happy to have it. I think, Jody. I was I th happy I just so to be well. able to go out there and I think like, so watch as well. the games. Um, as an avid, avid Braves fan, shout out to all the Braves out there. Congratulations. That's right. You guys kicked butt all year. But we've got two great recipes to go along with baseball. I know uh, when I take any kind of survey, when I go to, to a game, they always ask me, what, what's my favorite food while watching the game? And, of course, hot dogs and nachos. Mm. I always check those two boxes. Um, so today we're going to bring you the ballpark hot dog bar that's right we're going to we're going to show you how to make the ultimate hot dog bar and again you can't just make hot dog one way no because somebody's not that's not going to be their particular that's right way of, of doing it that's you right know what I'm saying so you got to have um a variety a buffet. yeah a variety uh, is the spice of right. life baby. that's right variety is the spice of life and then we're also going to do um some barbecue nachos i've been mm. wanting to do barbecue nachos for a hot minute now mm. one of my favorite nacho alternatives um, but you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm Jody Flanagan, Barbecue Dad. We are live here at the RecTech Worldwide Headquarters in beautiful Evans, Georgia. We are bringing you two amazing recipes today for our home gating series. That's right. Powered by Kingsford. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you subscribe to Kingsford. Uh, YouTube channel as well as the Rec Tech YouTube channel. We've got a lot of amazing content coming out, but I'm fired up. I love baseball. Now, we try to keep these segments to a very limited amount of time. We're about to, to set off the 10 minute timer. I've got 10 minutes to successfully knock yeah, you do. both of these recipes out of the park. Oh, 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 I'm all right. a little home run action. Oh, man. Uh, but just to give you guys a little bit of baseball knowledge here, uh, the first game was recorded in 17. 49 in England. That is crazy. I didn't know that. Thank you for that, Jordan. Uh, first played in North America in 1838, described as America's pastime. Um, it originally oriented towards white collar workers. Okay, that was a, that's a weird fact, Jordan. Thank you for that. Poll found nearly half of Americans are baseball fans. That's right. We love we love Major League Baseball. Uh, MLB made more than $10 billion in 2017. And if you watched any of our other um, home gaining episodes you would know that uh the super bowl you know was a very high uh yeah. high uh, money earning thing as well and the nfl totally. is the top yeah the nba is up there too right jordan we are we're talking about that as well it's incredibly popular in japan and north korea of course i've been watching that uh that uh, korean baseball early in the mornings on espn they've been filling my time slot so but we guys, we thank you so much. Um, hit that red rectangle if you watch this on YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the RecTech YouTube channel as well as the Kingsford YouTube channel. Again, we're going to be cooking on the RT700 and RTB380 today, both available at RecTech.com. We're burning the Kingsford pellet. We're using that signature blend. That's right. Uh, that signature blend is going to give us um, that traditional as well as a little bit of sweet flavor to these dishes. Um, now, um, but again, I'm going to try to do it in 10 minutes. That's right. Hopefully, I can do it. Look, there's there's nothing can. on the grills. I know There's you can, nothing dude. on here. There is no pre-made food today. No okay? pre-made food. All right. You ready? Guys, uh, well, count me down. I need a horn and a bam, bam, bam. Nine, eight, seven, six, right. five, four, right, three, 
two, one. All right. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Thank you, Jordan. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put these hot dogs on the RTB380. We're just going to go ahead and get them cooked up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Don't overthink hot dogs, ladies and gentlemen. Don't overthink it. Yes, you can wrap them in bacon. Yes, you can cut them and, they, and make them look all cute uh, and things of that nature. Um, but just don't overthink hot dogs, okay? I'm going to put these hot dogs buns in this hot grill. I just turned it off. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our nachos ready. All right. In order to get our nachos ready, we got to get a nice base layer of tortilla chips. And these are custom made tortilla chips. Uh, shout out to the two gringos chupacabra for hooking it up. But uh, I like to put them in a bowl first. Take them out of the bag, put them in a bowl. That way you can grab the larger chips off the top and you Ooh. leave the smaller chips in the bowl. That's a good tip right there. Absolutely. All right, nachos, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then, then I've got uh, a four cheese blend. Always shred your cheese yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Never buy shredded cheese. It's always got some anti-caking agents and things like that on it. Um, and it's just not gonna make it taste good. This right. cheese is gonna melt and be super melty and delicious. I also like to put some red onions on there. Red onions are synonymous with that barbecue flavor. And then I like to put about a pound of pulled pork. We cooked this pulled pork over the weekend at our Rec Tech Academy. Shout out to Kingsford for powering that as well. I believe we cooked this over Kingsford Hickory, that good, bold, traditional flavor yep, pellet. Bloody. And again, these pellets are available at Lowe's.com, soon to be Walmart, Lowe's. Jody, what kind of dogs are you using today? What kind of dogs we're using today? We're using all beef dogs today, yeah, uh, just to make it a little bit different. You know, usually we do uh, pork, uh, which has a variety of pork cuts in it. Um, but today I decided to go with the beef dogs. I like it. I'm not mad right. at you. So we're going to put this bad boy in the RT700, 350 degrees, just essentially waiting for all that stuff to meld and cook and heat up and marry together. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our hot dogs ready. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy today. Now, your hot dog bar can cons consist of many, many different articles, okay? Today, we've got featured some delicious jelly. I've got some bacon jam. Ooh. I've got uh, some pepper jelly. We've got bacon. We've got peppers. Mm. We've got uh, pickles. We've got shaved celery. We've got, sha uh, we've got uh, minced jalapenos. We've got pickled onions. I've got salsa. I've got pico de gallo. I've got cilantro. I've got baked beans. Yes. Uh, oh. I've got whole peppers, mm -hmm. relish, coleslaw, uh, cream cheese, blue cheese crumbles. We also have a variety of sauces here. We've got some delicious barbecue. You can't uh, have a hot dog without ketchup and mustard. Ketchup, mustard. Uh, we've also got some buffalo sauce here, some hot sriracha sauce, and then a little seasonings to top off those hot dogs. Um, but the hot dogs couldn't be easier, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Cooking the hot dogs at 400 degrees on the RTB 380. Uh, and then I said we were burning the classic Kingsford Classic That's blend right. pellet today. That's right. It's going to give it a good smoky flavor. Um, again, these home gating episodes, guys, we're trying to bring them, make them easy for you, uh, very labor friendly. That's not right. so labor intensive. Nobody right. likes a home gating recipe yeah. that's hard to cook. You know so what I'm saying? Some of our fans out here said they saw it on the Kingsford page. Oh, very cool. Very cool. That's and right. uh, just to give you guys a heads up, too, um, all of these uh, recipes will be available on the Kingsford page as well as the Kingsford YouTube channel, as well as the Rec Tech YouTube channel. And make sure you follow me on all social media, Jody Flanagan, B Barbecue Dad. You can find me at BBQ Dad Jody on most everything. All right. Thank you so much for those uh, awesome facts about baseball, Jordan. Um, again, the pellet, the Kingsford pellets in combination with the Rec Tech is almost like cheating. You know what I'm saying? So um, a lot of cheating. There's a lot of cheating going on in baseball, you know, <laughs> under the table. And then, of course, uh, uh, on the surface as well. Um, but some folks say if you're not cheating, you're not trying. Oh, so that's, uh, okay. that's, that's what I always go back to. Okay. And uh, having a Rec Tech grill uh, powered by Kingsford pellets is exactly like cheating. The grill does absolutely all of the work for you guys. Um, it cooks the meal to perfection, lights itself, maintains the temperature, cooks the meal to perfection. And also, uh, you can monitor the, your cook from the Rec Tech app. You can turn the grill up, down, on, or off from anywhere in the world using the Rec Tech app. Let's check out these hot dogs. 
They're getting nice and beautiful. Now, I don't like a burnt hot dog or a super crispy hot dog. What say you, Chef John? Guys, put your favorite type of hot dog in the comment section down below. We'd love to know. I um, like a little crisp on my hot dog. You like, like a little crisp on your hot yeah. dog? Okay, then. I Five like minutes that. out, Jody. Five minute warning. Burp, burp, burp. All right, easy peasy, little bit squeezy. So, for these hot dogs, we wanted to go a little extra level. So we got some delicious brioche hot dog buns. We also got some center cut hot dog buns. Ooh. And uh, these Which are just do you prefer? Uh, me, I like the brioche. Okay. Uh, and I like traditional cut. Um, there's a little bit, uh, the bread to meat ratio is a little different with the center cut. Me, I like a good bread to meat ratio, of course. All right, so the hot dog buns are nice and toasted. That's obviously the first step. Guys, you got to have toasty buns. Yes, it's all about the toasty buns. <laughs> no one likes non-toasty oh, buns. untoasted buns. That's right, that's right. And you can see the steam coming off of these things. They were kissed by those uh, Kingsford pellets as well. But we had such a great time at the Rectech Academy this weekend, uh, powered by our friends at Kingsford. That's right, we sure so did. When these uh, hot dogs come off, they're about to come off in just a second. We're going to put them in the bun, and then we're going to show you a couple of different ways to do it. We're going to show you Hispanic um, a hot dog. We're going to show you a traditional okay. barbecue hot dog. Okay. Uh, we're going to show you a ballpark hot dog. Um, and then we'll go kind of crazy uh, as well. But with the barbecue nachos, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We got a base layer of tortilla chips. We put them on a pan. And you, you guys saw, I put aluminum foil on that pan. That's way, that way it's much, much easier to clean up after we get done uh, licking those things clean. All right, so uh, layer of tortilla chips, layer of cheese, layer of onions, layer of barbecue, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Sitting at 350 degrees right now. We're letting everything marry. We're letting everything just meld together. Uh, 400 degrees on the RTB 380 right now, cooking these hot dogs to perfection. Um, and All right, 330 left, 330. Okay, perfect. I'm, I think we're in a good spot right now. Uh, I got my trusty tong here. We're going to go ahead and take our dogs off. These things are cooked to perfection. Thanks to that RTB 380. Oh man, got to call an audible. Got to uh -oh. uh, got to call a, a a special trick play in baseball right now. My tong was not helping me. Well, let me throw you a fastball real oh, quick, Oh, here it goes. Could, throw one right down the middle, John. Could you uh, substitute dogs for sausage? Oh on this? shoot, yeah, man. Uh, that's that's the great thing uh, about America's pastime. You can definitely substitute players. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? All right. All right. So for the first one, we're going to go Hispanic. So we'll go Pico de Gallo first. Beautiful. 230. Beautiful. 230, Jody. Oh, I feel good. Uh, we'll go uh, whole peppers. Mm, that's looking right. And then we'll go just a little bacon, just a little Ooh, pork, okay. just to give it a little. Oh. Mm, that looks absolutely amazing. Now we'll go up oh, a little cilantro as well with that. Sorry about that. All right, now traditional dog. Two we're minute gonna go warning. We're gonna go slaw. Mm. And then uh, if you also had onions, I don't have onions here, but you could also do onions. That'll be a traditional dog. We'll go uh, ketchup and mustard yes. on that bad boy. Oh yeah. All right, the next one, we'll go kind of crazy. We'll go relish. Mm. We'll go caramelized onion. Yes. We'll go jalapeno. Uh-huh. Okay. And then, oh, 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 I'm missing a, a spoon here. Then we'll go. Oh, hoo, hoo. Then we'll go. Uh, this is actually our smoked queso that we did in one of our early segments. We'll yes. go smoked queso on there. That was fun. All right, this next one, we'll make it uh, super awesome. This would be one of my favorites. So I got some of this strawberry pepper jelly. What? We're going to spread that out. It's going to be a sweet heat kind of deal. We're going to use some of these jalapeno. And again, sweet heat. We'll hit it with a little bit of coleslaw to kind of cool it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then we'll top it with a little bit of bacon. And All right, 45 seconds, that Jody. That would probably be my favorite hot dog right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's check on these nachis. Oh, man, we got perfect cheese melting going on. Oh, check these yes. bad boys out. They are ready to go. Now it's time to top them with even seconds. more cheese. All right, we are topping them with even oh, more queso. Buddy. 
easy peasy lemon squeezy and again this is the smoked queso this is that smoked queso that we did in one of our early episodes you can definitely use that ten okay. uh since it's nine, uh, barbecue don't eight me. <laughs> seven put some coleslaw six on top. five we're gonna put four three two one beep, 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 Barbecue nachos, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Put a little bit of greenery on there. It makes it look prettier. And then top it with a little lettuce. You can't go wrong. Jody, yes. Man, we knocked yes. it out of the park today. Greatest yes. slam. Yes. Greatest slam today, baby. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the Kingsford. Ooh, that stuff is hot. <laughs> Kingsford and Rectex YouTube channel. We got a lot of amazing content coming for you. Home gating. You can't go wrong with it. It's a sports lover's dream right now, America. Make sure you hit that share button. Make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We'll be back next week with an amazing episode. Check out Barbecue Nachos and then your delicious hot dog bar. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you. At, At the, the Rec Tech. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Rec Tech lifestyle. Set it and come get it. When the sun starts going down, live your life the way you like. It's a Rec Tech lifestyle. Do, do, do. 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 Do, do, Hi, I'm Jody. Over the next nine weeks, Kingsford and RecTech are going to show you the best tips, tricks, and recipes to help you knock your home gating out of the park. Don't forget, subscribe to watch.